thank you for purchasing our product. We free sure you with I'll be glad you chose our machine, and it will bring you much enjoyment in the fantastic world of sewing craft and quilting. Preparation Connecting the power supply His machine is equipped with a two-way speed control for sewing. You can use either the foot control or the start-stop button to operate the machine. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, make sure to turn the power switch off. If you use the foot control, insert the pin connector into the jack. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the plugs into the machine and a power outlet. Machine Operating Buttons the machine operating buttons are conveniently grouped together for easy access while sewing. Start Stop Button Press the Start Stop button to start or to stop the machine. Please note however, that the Start Stop button will not work when the foot control is connected. The machine will run slowly as long as this button is pressed, and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the button is released. Pressing this button while the machine is running will slow down the machine, and it will stop when the button is released. This function is extremely useful when precise control of stitching is necessary. Reverse button. The machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is being pressed, when these patterns are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold down this button so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, Pressing the reverse button causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto Lock Button The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically by pressing the Auto Lock button when these patterns have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle up down button. Press this button to raise or lower the needle. Thread Cutter Button Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you use thick thread or the twin needle, Use the thread cutter on the face plate. Speed Control Slider The speed control slider sets the maximum sewing speed. To decrease the speed, shift the slider to the left. Shift to the right to increase the speed. Winding the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine.
set the spool of thread on the spool pin. Secure it with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pull it along the guide slot. Be sure that the thread is pulled under the notch. Draw the thread around and to the back of the thread guide. Firmly pull the thread to the right while holding it with your hands. Hold the thread with both hands and wind it around the bobbin clockwise several times. Insert the thread into one of the slits of the flange plate and pull the thread to cut it. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the right. The bobbin mark will appear on the LCD screen. Set the speed control slider to the fastest position. Start the machine. When the bobbin is fully wound and stop spinning, stop the machine. Return the bobbin winder spindle to the left. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread with the thread cutter. For using the additional spool pin, see the instruction manual. Inserting the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Hold the bobbin in place with your fingertip so it does not rotate. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Pass the thread under the guide and pull it to the left. Pass the thread into the guide path marked 1 and 2. Pull the thread to the right through the slit. Insert the hook cover plate. Threading the machine. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin. Secure it with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pass the thread into the guide slot. Be sure that the thread is pulled under the notch. Still holding the thread with your hand, draw the thread firmly around the corner and toward you along the channel. Pull the thread down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide from the right to the left. Pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide from the right and draw it to the left firmly. Holding the thread near the spool with your hand, pull the thread up to the left, over the needle threader guide. Be sure that the thread passes the slit of the needle threader. Pull the thread up. Slip the thread between the thread cutter and the face plate. Pull down the needle threader knob down as far as it will go. Raise the threader slowly so a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Pull the thread end through the needle eye. You need to draw up the bobbin thread when sewing gathering stitches etc. For drawing up the bobbin thread, see the instruction manual. Raising and lowering the presser foot. The presser foot lifter raises and lowers the presser foot. You can raise the presser foot higher than the normal up position. This helps you to change the needle plate or place thick fabrics under the foot. The machine will not start if the presser foot is up and the presser foot mark is blinking on the LCD screen. The knee lifter is very useful when sewing patchwork, quilting, and other things, since it allows you to handle the fabric while your knee controls the presser foot. See the instruction manual for more information. Replacing the presser foot. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot with a foot lifter. 
Press the lever on the back of the foot holder and the presser foot will drop off. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the foot with the foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Replacing the foot holder. When using the dual feet feet or darting foot, you need to replace the foot holder. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot with a foot lifter. Loosen the thumb screw and remove the foot holder. Attach the dual feed foot holder to the presser bar from behind. Tighten the thumb screw with your fingers. Push the dual feed link to engage with the upper feed driver. Lower the foot and the needle. Tighten the thumb screw firmly with the screwdriver to secure the foot holder. Raise the needle and the foot. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Thread Tension This machine features a semi-auto tension control setting, which covers a wide range of sewing conditions. Set the tension control dial at auto for general sewing. However, you may need to adjust the tension manually depending on sewing conditions such as the type of fabric and number of layers. Turn the dial to a higher number to increase the tension. To decrease the tension, turn it to a lower number. Adjusting foot pressure. Depending on the sewing conditions, the foot pressure should be adjusted. The dial has 7 setting positions from 1 to 7 so you can fine tune the foot pressure. For general sewing, set the foot pressure dial at 5. To reduce the pressure, set the dial at a lower number. Set the dial at a higher number to increase the pressure. Dropping the feed dog. The feed dog can be lowered with a drop feed lever located on the right side of the machine. Shift the lever toward you to drop the feed dog. Shift the lever away from you to raise the feed dog and it will return to the up position when you start the machine. Replacing the needle plate. You can use the straight stitch needle plate when sewing straight stitches. Press the lockout key. Slide the extension table to the left to remove it. Raise the presser foot. Push down the needle plate release lever and the needle plate will pop up. Raise the presser foot lifter to the extra lifted position and hold it in place and remove the needle plate by lifting it to the right. While holding the presser foot lifter to the extra lifted position, Set the left edge of the straight stitch needle plate with the opening. Push down on the circle mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Turn the hand wheel slowly and check that the needle does not hit the needle plate. Practical Sewing Selecting Stitch Patterns this machine offers a wide selection of stitch patterns and monograms. The flip-up reference chart helps you identify all the patterns at a glance. These patterns are classified into modes for easy reference. When turning the power switch on, the LCD screen will show straight stitch 1 in mode 1 has been selected. Press the mode key to select your desired mode.
Enter two-digit pattern numbers with the number keys to select the desired pattern. The LCD screen will show the mode number, pattern number, recommended foot, stitch image, preset stitch width, and length. Altering stitch length and width. Stitch length and width are programmed and optimized for the selected pattern. However, you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. To alter the stitch length, press the stitch length adjusting key. To alter the stitch width, press the stitch width adjusting key. For straight stitches, you can move the needle draw position by pressing the stitch width adjusting key. Buttonholes You can choose the appropriate buttonhole for your garment. The machine will sew a properly sized buttonhole automatically in a single step. Pull the button holder to the back. Place the button on the holder and push it to hold the button. Buttonhole length is determined automatically. You can also fine tune the buttonhole size by turning the adjusting screw. Attach the buttonhole foot. Draw the needle thread to the left through the hole of the foot. Place the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle. And lower the presser foot. Pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Start sewing while pulling the needle thread lightly to the left. After sewing several stitches, free the needle thread and continue sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Advanced Sewing Techniques Selecting Letters and Numbers Press the mode key to choose mode 3, 4, 5, or 6 for letters and numbers. Select the desired character by pressing the number keys. Programming Pattern Combinations Let's try to program a pattern combination. Select mode 3 and select pattern number 11, uppercase letter A. Then press the memory key to memorize letter A. Select mode 2 and select pattern number 48. Press the memory key to memorize a pattern. Select pattern number 48 again and press the mirror image key. Press the memory key to memorize the mirror image of the pattern. Select mode 3 and select pattern number 12, uppercase letter B. Press the memory key. Start the machine to sew the pattern combination. Editing pattern combinations. Press the left arrow of the cursor key to shift the cursor to the left. Press the right arrow of the cursor key to shift the cursor to the right. Shift the cursor under the pattern you wish to delete. Press the clear key and the pattern above the cursor will be deleted. Press the clear key again. To insert a pattern, shift the cursor under the pattern next to the place where you wish to insert patterns. Select the pattern and press the memory key. This selected pattern will be inserted before the cursor. Customizing the machine settings. You can customize the machine settings to your preference. 
Press the set key. Press the mode key to select the items to set, such as buzzer sound O and off. Needle stop position setting. Startup speed setting. Key position calibration and all clear to return to default conditions. For example, select needle stop position setting. Press plus of the stitch width adjusting key and the up sign on the LCD screen will blink. Press the set key to return to the previous screen. Care and maintenance. Replacing the needle. Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not bent or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is bent or blunt. Be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Loosen the needle clamp screw with a screwdriver and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with the screwdriver. Cleaning the machine. It is recommended to clean the hook area, automatic thread cutter mechanism and the inside of the thread guide at least once a month. Cleaning the hook area. Be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Remove the needle and the presser foot. Remove the extension table. Push down the needle plate release lever and remove the needle plate. Remove the bobbin and the bobbin holder. Clean the bobbin holder with a lint brush and wipe it with a cloth. Clean the feed dog. Thread cutter device and hook raise with a lint brush. Wipe the inside of the hook raise with a cloth. Replace the bobbin holder in the hook raise, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook raise. Insert the left edge of the needle plate into the opening and push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Attach the extension table. Attach the needle and presser foot. Cleaning the inside of the thread guide. Remove the thread guide plate by pulling it up. Clean the area around and under the pretension leaf with a lint brush. Remove lint and dust from the brush on the underside of the thread guide plate using the lint brush. Set the thread guide plate on the machine, inserting the tenons into the slots. Push the thread guide plate down to snap it in place. Wipe the machine body with a soft cloth. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free.